Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. Um, I'm going to show you how to print uh, or cut on your brother's scanning cut and why you should never buy a Cricut or a Cameo or a, any kind of other one but this machine right here. This is the best machine you're possibly going to find and I'll show you why and how easy it is. So these are actually static clings and I have a little bit of static cling material right here. And um, even easier than cutting vinyl is cutting static cling. So I'm just going to show you kind of how it works. Um, vinyl basically is the same process, except you have a transfer tape that you take over and you put on half cut here instead of full cut all the way through. But full cut is super easy. So I just want to show you, you cut, it comes with a cutting mat like this. You put it in with the purple arrow that way. And you just stick your material right to it. So this machine has little pockets for all your stuff. So we'll take this and we'll just stick it. I don't know, it doesn't matter. It truly doesn't matter. And then I'll just squeegee it down to the sticky mat. So if you've never done this before, this mat's adhesive. You can't do that with a Cricut. You can't put a random piece of anything. You have to have registration marks and all this crap. You're wasting material every single time you touch your Cricut machine. So I'll put this away. And we feed it by just pressing this middle button right here. It just feeds it really quick, right? So all we're going to do now, now you're thinking, how are you going to print to that, you know? And what we're going to do is we're going to scan this. We're going to take a scan of this on the computer. And I'm going to be able to place one of these Honda elements, which is what the sticker is, right? Wherever I want it on the computer. And I could just print out one of them and reuse some of this for later for whatever. So anyways, you go back to the home screen. You go back to the home screen. I was just printing something. And then you click scan, you click over one, and you go transfer to the workspace. You start your scan. And now it'll just scan in, um, just like a scanner for your computer, just the same exact thing. And it'll show me on the computer what's available for me to print on. And so, um, let's run over to the computer and I'll show you this image that it brought over there. I'll show you how I made this in Photoshop and how I'm going to bring this into this project, lay it over it, and then this, then we'll come back and the machine will cut it out and I'll touch, teach you how to take the sticker off. So, um, let's jump over to the computer. We'll see you right over there. Okay guys. So now that we're over the computer here, we have our brother canvas workspace. This is what it is. And what we need to do is just go file import from the cutting machine scanned image. Wait a second, and look, that's our piece right there. Perfect, right? So I wanna show you, I made this on Photoshop. You know, you can make it white, black, whatever. It doesn't really make a difference, but that's the image we're gonna use. And to get the transparent background, you go to File, Export, Export as PNG with the background, or you can go to the Legacy and set up however you want. But I do have that image already saved and exported. So now how to create that image here, you go to File, actually, I'm sorry, you go right here to this image tracing tool and you grab it from the computer. So mine is called this one right here, Static Cling. I open it and I don't wanna trace, this is just to trace the outer line. This, this one right here, trace outer edge only. That's just to trace the outer, but I want the outer and the inners. So that's the outer and the inner. Uh, the color is like whatever, I, I try to make it as little as possible because it's just um, one color, but the lowest you can go is two for whatever reason, I don't know. And you can press OK. And now you have the group of each one of the cuts right here, basically. So you go, you click it, and then you can resize whatever size you want. And you can also turn it any way you want. So let's just turn this one, I don't know, something like this. And then we'll put this right over here. Now it does suck that I'm using black material. It's really hard to see. So you can go here to the on off of the layers panel. And if you've used Photoshop, you're familiar with this. You can see I'm back here, I'm cutting down here a little bit. So I'm gonna go a little bit smaller and we're just gonna toggle this on and off. And actually, you know what? I can move this way just a little bit and get more of my image inside of that. Okay, that's perfect. And obviously this is just a test. I just wanna show you how you can use a piece of scrap like this to actually cut something out. You don't need any reference marks. You don't need any guides. You don't need anything. So now that you're happy with your with your cut, so I am happy. Let me just check one more time. 
Okay, everything looks like it's going to be within the borders of our material. You go to File, Export, and Transfer File. Uh, I don't know why it says this every time, but it does. And then you just do Transfer via the Internet. Double click that. And now it says the register machine is ready to download the transfer file from the Internet. And that's it. Okay, here we are back at the machine. We still have the finished transferring thing. You see it was the same shape that it scanned in. You press OK. Uh, back to the home screen. And how you get the data is you go down here to this button, Retrieve Data. And it's this little cloud pocket, I guess. I don't know. It's just where it's at. It'll say Retrieving. It grabs my image. Okay. I have everything set up, but you can go in here to Settings and change some stuff if you want. But you just go there. Please select Cut. And then you set up to cut and you can click your settings here, cut speed, cut pressure. I don't know. doesn't really matter. This one more down. If you go one page down, this is kind of where you really want to be. Your half cut for a kiss cut sticker where you leave the backing on the back. You want to put that on. But since I want to cut all the way through, I'm turning off half cut. And um, if you're trying to print on a big piece of material in just a little bit, you can add a weeding box, which will just make a little square, so you don't, so you can reuse all that material later. Again, Cricut can't do stuff like this. You can't reuse without the registration marks. You don't need any registration marks here. This is a way better machine. Anyways, that weeding box on or off. This is material that doesn't really need a weeding box, so I'm going to leave that off. But just want to show you those two things. So then you just click start, and the machines right now seeing how deep it is until it touches the material. And now it's seeing how deep until it goes through the scanned material, because it knows what it's scanned, because it scanned it. But now it's going through the machine and testing how deep that is. So now I'll just cut one wheel, just cut another wheel, front headlight, I can just tell what it's cutting, but rear tail light, driver's side window, rear window, rear door window, and now it's going to cut around the whole entire element. And now it says finish cutting, you press OK, and to release the mat, you press the mat button here, and it kicks the mat out, unloading, now we're done, and there is your finished product. So here is our print. Let's just spin it around. We'll take our little weeding tool and go right under the edge here. And just pull up. And you can save this material and cut a little thing out of here or over here. It doesn't really matter. So you can scan and cut um, out of a piece of scrap. You could cut right here later. So this is why this machine is far superior to a Cricut. And then we have our remaining thing. For this, you just Kind of break it up. This is a static cling, so it doesn't have any backing. It doesn't have any anything. You pull it up, and there's all of our background pieces left there. And we have a crisp, cut, clean static cling ready for sale. So that's why this machine is far superior than any Cricut, any Silhouette, any Cameo, anything that uses a registration mark. Those things are nightmares. Why would you want to deal with any of that when you can just get a brother's cut and scan or scan and cut is called and a little bit of garbage but here is your product now you can put this on a marketplace and sell that um it just took me you know just a couple seconds there to make them and you can save the file on the computer and reprint this anytime you want so that's exactly how you Use the Brother Scan and Cut to make a product like this that you can sell um, and why this machine is far superior than any kind of Cricut. So if you like what you saw there and I helped you out how to make stickers, um, I can make more tutorials about how to make more stickers. Um, it's surprisingly hard to find any good information about stickers on the internet, so I hope this really helped you. Um, obviously this is for static cling. If this was a sticker, you would have just taken transfer tape, transfer paper and put it over it and then pulled the transfer paper up with everything coming out together. We're stuck again. But um, this is just a static cling, much easier. But just wanted to highlight this machine. I'm going to have a link for it down in the description. There's probably new ones. There's probably different updated ones. Um, 
this one is amazing i definitely recommend it and i'll put down i'll even put the link for the um this uh, static cling that i used sorry i'm losing my words i'll even put a link down below for the static cling that i used if you want to make static clings as well and again you could just take any kind of scrap stick it to the board scan it print on a little section and this machine will cut it out no registration marks needed um, this machine is superior so i just want to make that quick video kind of a guide kind of a you know don't buy a cricket um, so hope that helps Thanks for tuning in. All links for all the supplies and everything will be down in the description if you want to buy anything. Uh, they are Amazon affiliate links. Appreciate your support. Thanks so much for tuning in. Catch you on the next one. Peace.